around the age four or five, I was starting to walk differently. So my hips would sway a little bit. Then I would start tripping over a lot and I was just falling over so much. My mum was very concerned. I was first diagnosed when I was six years old. It is a rare genetic muscle wasting condition which causes progressive muscle loss, eventually causing respiratory or cardiac failure. Around 12, 13, it was becoming so hard to walk. After that, I started using an electric wheelchair. I was very embarrassed and very ashamed and I just didn't accept it. I was being bullied and I quickly spiraled into a real deep depression. It's the Shin Muscular Dystrophy Awareness Week. I became a full-time wheelchair user at age 11. I remember bringing it to school the first day and kids asking me, is that yours? And just, yeah, it was not a really good experience. The shin muscular dystrophy occurs in one in 3,500 to 5,000 males born worldwide. I was hospitalized so many times. I still got trauma from it. My breathing muscles are not strong. You get tired throughout the day, you have fatigue. I have my mum as my full-time carer. My mum helps me with showering and I know it is a struggle. Sometimes I get embarrassed and ashamed because you know my mum has to see me with no clothes on. It is what it is and I'm thankful for my mum and all the care that she does. I am currently 22 years old. The average life expectancy is around 30, but with medical advances, this is starting to increase. A lot of people that don't know me and just see that I'm in a wheelchair, a lot of people are like, what happened? And they think you're like in an accident or something. And oftentimes people think I'm paralyzed. And I'm like, no, I'm not paralyzed. It's very different. People think just because you have a physical disability that maybe you also have a mental disability. When I go out in public, people will try to talk about me to whoever's with me. It's like, I'm right here. I can answer. One in 50 millions of girls have Duchenne. It may be rare, but it's, it doesn't happen. It's hard to find a girl like me. I feel very special. People think we don't have friends or we can travel. People think life is very hard. I'm happy and life can be wonderful. I used to draw a lot because of the muscular dystrophy. Progressively getting worse, I was not able to draw anymore. One day I was like, wait a minute, I can put paint on the wheels. I make paintings with my wheelchair. I use like loose canvas or like canvas boards. And I have someone put the paint down for me. And then I run over it with my wheels. Uh, I currently run a nonprofit organization called Sturdy Shin. Our mission is to advance gene editing and gene therapy into human practice. We think that we will be able to complete the cure for Duchenne muscular dystrophy. I'm on my second degree in psychology. I've rode a horse, I've swam with dolphins. Life with Duchenne can be good. And I try my best to live it as best possible. This is hashtag our stories. What's yours? Subscribe for more stories about people changing their world.